Right, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Uh, I'd like to greet out yung ating mga viewers from uh, Korea, Singapore, and Taiwan who has been steadily increasing for the last few weeks. And yung ating mga core viewers, especially from the Philippines, Saudi, United Arab Emirates, Qatar. Alright, and this is PSI recap. This is for tomorrow's trading. So, we'll be reviewing yung ating mga potential stocks that has been uh, very, very good no? sa kanilang price action na could have, have a good uh, momentum moving forward to our next week's trading. But before we all do that, let me share to you yung ating quick word from our sponsor. This comes from Ezekiel chapter 11 verse 19. I'll give them an undivided heart and put a new spirit in them. I will remove from them their heart of stone and give them a heart of flesh. Alright, so this was said to the people of Israel uh, 2,000 years ago. And you know what? When I was reading this, uh, you can't uh, really, no? Com you might be shocked, no? Ng mga tao currently present na uh, may kukumpara mo sa mga heart of stone, alright? So, they've been hearing the word of God uh, paulit-ulit. Sometimes, they, they they are reading them themselves but hindi tumatama sa kanilang puso yung mensahe. Alright? So, paano ko nasabi yun? I was also uh, heart of stone, no? So, I was viewing the Bible as more an informational more on the academic side parang tinitake ko history books but definitely it's more than that right so bible should transform you right it should correct your ways and marami pang iba no na makikita mo sa bible kaya nga lagi kong ini-endorse sa inyo to read your bible as much as possible because nandito na lahat ng kailangan nyo right so again I hope and pray na yung mga nakikinig sa akin, uh, wala naman sa inyo yung ganyan. Right? Or kung may ganyan man, at least you ask and pray to God na baguhin yung puso nyo. No? From a heart of stone to a heart of flesh. Alright? So with that, let's now move on sa ating uh, mga charts. And everything that I will say and everything that you will hear from this point on, it will just a uh, probability. Right? So, final decision should rest upon yourselves. Ikaw yung magkiklik ng buy order or yung sell order. And then take responsibility as always. So, first on our charts is uh, JGS Summit Holdings. Napakaganda ng ano, recent activity nitong JGS. And currently, uh, nag-rally na rin siya. No? Medyo mataas na rin yung rally niya from the very bottom. Right? So we can we can see na at least yung uh, below 50 is malabo-labo na mangyari yan. But currently with its current price na 59.40, should we buy or not? All right. At this point in time, it's a considerable resistance at this point and this point and it's currently uh touching yung resistance area. So what do we do? Uh we should at the very least uh try natin na abangan to at sa uh, 55 or 55.50 level at this point no? kung, kung mariretouch niya or in the next few days Monday, Tuesday if it reach past 60 with momentum yung acceleration then definitely you should start accumulating itong uh, uh, GGS right so if makabili ka naman at around uh, 55.55.50 Yung ating target is around uh, 64 or 65. No? So, dito banda. And uh, that is a 13 for, to 14%. Right? Driving force nitong uh, uh, JGS if you have not been following or reading itong uh, mga announcement or disclosure sa JGS. It, uh, it, it won yung consortium with the building of the new Clark Airport. So, 25 years uh, operations and maintenance pa nga yan. 
So, yan yung driving force and given that the market is really good at this point in time, you might want to consider itong JGS. Alright, so, medyo bug-bug-bug-bug na rin to. Since uh, 2017 and even 2018 pa nga, medyo bug-bug na rin to and I think it's about time na itong JGS uh, finally would make a run. no? So, alright, so again, observe mo muna yung 60 if it retrace much better at least a 55 or 55 50 ka bumili and then uh if not if it pass beach 60 consider uh, consider accumulating no etong uh, JGS right so there is a uh, article for JGS let's now move on sa ating isa pa sa mga stocks no? Even no 2017 when we have a bull market, isa ito sa mga uh, patuloy na bumababa. Right. So, we can clearly say at this point in time na it has already bottom out. So, sasabihin ko na. No? From what I see, it looks like it has already bottom out. No? With a big, big volume. Alright. So, walang retailer na bibili niyan. Ang ganyang karami na bumababa. Ang bibili niyan is something institutional. Alright. So, again, tulad nga sinabi ko since last week, uh, nandito tayo dito sa candle na to. I, I told you not to buy. At least isara niya man lang at least yung 2 pesos. Alright. Within this week, uh, I think it's going to breach yung 2 pesos. And uh, magsara lang, I think 201, 202, even 203 you can already start uh, buying itong CHP. And, and even nga, kahit sa 1.97, with the recent price action, maganda rin yung pinapakita. No? Hindi na rin siya bumaba. No? So, again, at least, man lang sana, ma-breach niya yung 2 peso. Right? So, para ma, ma, ma-tap natin yung mga bulls na nandoon doon. And it would serve as a psychological support uh, din naman para sa ating stocks na ito. Right, so again, uh, I am going to say it. It looks like it has already bottom out itong CHP. Right, so, pwedeng maging beneficiary ng ating market itong CHP. And makikita mo, napakaganda ng activity niya. You know? So, there is volume day by day. And syempre, at this point in time, yung mga institutions, silently lang ang pagbili niyan. No? So, parang yung B-Core pagapang lang no so they aren't going to push that uh, stock very very fast kasi nga uh, mapapansin agad ng retailers and good thing for you may mga ganitong recap session na at least na alerto ka na no at least yung sinasabi ko for CHV at least ma maisara niya lang above 2 peso and that is our signal para at least to accumulate no. Right, so again Isa sa mga key lessons Sa market and one of the skills That you must hone Is yung to time yung market So obviously if you're starting Hindi mo makukuha yan And definitely you would feel Disconnect when somebody is Saying this, no, yung timing And uh, Yun nga uh, Pag aralan mo lang, just stay in the game Makukuha at makukuha mo rin yan So don't be uh, discouraged, no? Kung, kung parang you're, you're trying and then parang hindi mo pa rin makuha. You will and you can time the market, right? So, stick to it and uh, put your attention and your uh, focus dyan sa pag-time ng market because that is a big, big factor and will determine on how well you do on bear market and even the bull market. Alright, sa, sa bull market... Definitely, kahit wala kang timing, matiming mo yung stocks na maganda, tatama-tatama ka. But yung timing sa bear market in sa mga reversal, ito yung uh, magsasalba sa'yo during the mar- bear market. Right, that's our take for CHP. We are currently bullish, lalo na pag nagsara ito sa 2 peso. Right, so double dragon. Right, uh, the last time that I was checking the stock is around 35. Look at it now, nasa 19.54 pesos na siya. Right again, uh, maganda no? 18 pesos is a clear. 
sa clear clear support but isa nag bottom up na ba itong ano tong double dragon we, we could uh, uh, definitely it's for argument no because uh, this could be the start no itong big big volume na to this could be the start of their vying and then finally they were able to uh, squeeze in lot ng bears and looks like looks like it's currently doing on an upward momentum no so matagal-tagal din yan yung yung kanyang uh, consolidation at around 18 peso no so as early as october uh yung ating uh buyer is already accumulating at 18 peso level all right but uh, tulad din ng CHP scenario at least man lang sana to close out itong 20 pesos right because if you buy right now and then ma-reject siya sa 20 masasakyan mo yung pababa alright so at least for the next week we're hoping and really hoping na itong double dragon would finally break itong 20 peso alright I think uh, for the near term we should set our eyes or yung ating uh, target at around 26 pesos alright so mapapansin nyo yung mga stocks na pinifili ko yung mga charts na akin din discuss is napaka simple alright guys tulad din na sinasabi ko sa inyo if the charts and the stocks is very complex give it to the genius right so at least dun sa mga full time o yung mga nagsasabi ng mga professional traders sila ibigay nyo na dun dito tayo sa madadaling intindihin and yung mga simpleng charts lang right we are here to to pick yung ating mga low lying fruits or yung mga madaling pitasin hayaan yun sa kanila yung nasa mga pinakatoktok na may hirap total mga genius naman sila alright again that is one of the lessons then sa stock market huwag nyo nang piliting pahirapan yung sarili nyo but at least kunin nyo yung uh, magagandang or mga simpleng trades lang right one of the key drivers nito is uh, they they have already uh, taken yung Katniel as endorser. No, joke, kidding aside, no? That's only a joke. I think one of the key drivers nitong Double Dragon is itong Hotel 101, no? So, nagiging maganda yung occupancy rate and maganda yung uh, concept nito. It's like yung time sharing where the buyers will be having a yearly yield sa kanilang uh, pagbili ng kanilang unit and then madidistribute sa kanila on a, uh, I think uh, yearly, yearly kung ang magaling kinita, right? So again yung mga owner naman would have uh, parang uh, specific uh, day or even weeks na ano, pwede sila magstay dun sa kanila right? So I think maganda yung concept ng Office 101 and recently they have already uh, launched yung kanilang international uh, partners na uh, sa mga key countries no Singapore, Hong Kong, Japan, uh, London, Italy and US no mapapansin mo usually ito yung mga bansa na may mga balikbayan alright so maraming OFW as well right so they have already uh, opened up yung kanilang mga international subsidiaries alright so double dragon ah uh, ganun no ganun if you are going to have yung confirmation uh, 7.24% that is the premium you pay when you wait for the confirmation. So, okay lang. Alright? Okay lang na magkaroon ng confirmation. At least yung hintayan is hindi na ganun katagal. Alright? So, that's it for our double dragon. And let's now move on sa ating next watch list. Alright? Let's have now ito yung ating mga alpas. I think for the last time na inaano natin to. I think finally, no? We can clearly see and confirm na yung 220 is a solid solid support. So would it breach yung 220 at this point in time, especially when the market is roaring, it might be hard time bago bumaba ito sa 220. So uh, mapapansin mo is yung candle niya is registered parang uptrend na rin to, no? So at least kung nakabili ka rito sa 220, you're in a good good position. Alright, so recent three candles maganda no it registering higher lows at this point in time and uh it should it should uh at this point in time do an upswing right so at least 
initial target would have been yung at least yung mga 260. Around 260 area, yung initial target natin for the TP1. And the TP2 at this point in time, kahit magbenta ka sa 2.9. Right? So, that is a good good 10% uh, upside and 21% upside. So, ang kagandahan sa IRC, since it is also an event-driven stock, given na malapit ka bumili dito sa support na to, once na magkaroon pa ng disclosures, that's, that's an added bonus. Alright, for you sa IRC. And, again, uh, maganda. Maganda yung kanyang uh, pinapakita if you are going to zoom out and get the big picture. Because, uh, in the bigger picture, etong area na to is, uh, ano lang siya, uh, consolidation. Right? So, again, maganda yung risk to reward ratio nitong uh, IRC because 220 is proving to be a good support for IRC. Right? Let's now move on sa ating isa pa. Yung ating uh, Fure Gold. Alright. So, Fure Gold. I think for the last two days ng trading week last week, uh, maganda yung pinakita. Right? So, mapapansin mo naman. Medyo talagang vertical na yung candle. So, wag mo munang habulin. Right? And you might want to see, check and see kung ano yung mangyayari at 48 or 48.50. So, kinakailang malagpasan nyo muna to bago natin ma-consider bago bumili dito sa pure gold. But, if, for example, you are very, very bullish dito sa pure gold, at least you must wait and check and uh, at least buy dun sa mas maganda-ganda namang abangan na 45 or 40, 45.50. Right? So, again, if it offends ng mas mataas or yung 48 na break niya agad by Monday or Tuesday definitely consider this one buying because uh, medyo uh, mahirap din naman if you are going kung palagi kang nagbabuy on the retracement or yung buy on the on the pullback because if yung stock is maganda uh, pwedeng hindi na rin yan bumaba ng basta-basta tulad ng recently nangyari sa FDC and Alco alright so at least Hopefully, you were able to catch that because uh, pumasok sa atin yun yung during yung ating mga few b previous uh, charts before they have already moved yung ganun ka taas. Alright. So, that's our, that's our take for uh, pure gold. And again, no, ibalik ko lang. Alright. So, pure gold, as you can see, 2018, yung retail sector was one of the uh, industry that is uh, hit by the bearish market. Alright, so I think uh, maganda-ganda yung kanyang reception given na tumataas siya ngayon. Alright, so next ang ating uh, Felix Mining Corporation. So again, uh, this is on our watch list last week if you are going to review and nandi dito pa lang yung candle natin. So, ang sabi ko, uh, wait and hold, no? At least uh, to check kung mababasag niya yung uh, 2.88 uh, resistance and na-spot na natin to no at around the uh, 2 280 but nagagalon hindi na siya nagretrace so at least yung next na candle na basag niya yung 309 i hope that you're able to catch no kahit mag end of day trading ka and then uh, at least you still have gotten already a profit no 309 to 380 that's a solid solid uh uh buy for you at this point in time no so if you are not following etong uh, px all right uh they are they are subscribing to uh, pxp shares so pxp shares alam naman natin diyan pumasok na rin diyan si uh Dennis Uy and mukhang may niluluto no this point in time, wala pang dinidisclose. And with the current price action, mukhang it would most likely consolidate muna, no? So again, if you are going to to at least buy itong uh, PXP, you might want to check and see kung ma-hold niya yung 3.7 or 3.75, no? So medyo mataas-taas na rin yung inabot, no? So it's time for this small retracement and a uh, small fallback at this point in time. Alright, that's our take uh, 
for VX or you VLX mining, right? So I think that's it. Right. Uh, meron pa palang isa. Alright. So, pinaka important pa yung mga iiwan natin. Alright. So again, uh, SLI. Alright. That is a clear, clear breakout. Technical breakout at this point in time. So, triangle yan. And, definitely, kung hindi mo pa siya nahuli, uh, you might want to check and see itong uh, SLI, no? Or Santa Lucia Land Incorporated. Right? So, SLI, uh, wag ka nang tumawad dito. If you are on an EOD, at least, or fina ka safe, no? Kung hindi ka man bibili at the opening, you might want to check and see because momentarily, baka mag-dive ito at 1.29 or yung tinatawag natin na retracement at 129 or 130 area. So I think yung yung momentarily that is the best best uh uh price to buy. And at least kung bibili ka man sa opening or current price na 1.36 at least partial lang. So if it closes below 136 you could still add up yung uh, natitira mong uh, position. So, for example, bumaba siya at 1.32. Uh, uh, you could buy at 136 and 132. No? So, I don't, ne I don't really recommend yung, uh, yung averaging down at this point. But, uh, this, yun yung magagawa mo kung end of day ka. At least may plano ka. No? Now, you will buy yung at least 50% sa 136. 50% sa sa closing, no? Kung bumaba man siya, no? So, mas maganda, if eh, pagbili mo sa 136, mas tumaas pa siya. So, that is a clear, clear breakout, and ito yung mga breakout with volume na magaganda. No? So, SLI, if you haven't uh, followed the news or disclosures, right, 750 million shares na no? transaction at 1.20. So, institutional support at 1.20. Right, so, dito banda. So, definitely, they are still, still going to push yung price niyang uh, SLI. And, uh, at least, no? At least, at this point in time, dapat hindi na siya bumaba sa 126 level. Alright? So, that is our take for SLI. And, mukhang maaga pa lang ito, itong galawa ng SLI na to, And, we might see more action dito sa SLI. So, alright. If you are getting something out of it, may mga natutunan ka rito sa chart quick session, you might want to subscribe and patuloy tayong lumalaki. Right? So, almost nung last time na nag-check ako, so, almost 1,050 plus, no? Right? So, again, maraming maraming salamat sa panonood. This is uh, PSCI Recap.